Hi everyone, welcome to Poppy DIY Crafts. Today we are checking out this UV resin starter kit from Let's Resin. This was sent to me to review, so thank you so much to Let's Resin. I really like this box. Look, there are all these gems up on here. And there's something I had noticed. Look, it has an expiration date. So this way you know that your resin is still good. Okay, let's go ahead and check out what's inside. So here is a mold. So it looks like we can make earrings. There's a plant, there's some squares, ovals, and teardrops. Oh, even comes with a UV lamp. Let's take a look at this. Okay, so this is actually a pretty good size. And take a look at this. It has LED lights on the sides too. That is really unique. The one that I have, the small size one, only has LED lights on the top. And I love that it folds down. It comes with a USB cord. Okay, so here is our bottle of UV resin. This is actually a really big bottle. I'm really impressed. We got a roll of tape for open bezels. Necklaces. Earring hooks, keychain. Okay, so we got some um, little accessories. These are open and closed bezels. A tweezer, a little cup, and some um, spoons and spatulas. Ooh, a box of confetti. This is so pretty. And a box of glitter. Look at all the different colors. <gasps> Ooh, flowers, some dried flowers. A sheet of clear stickers. This is a space theme. And instructions. If you want this kit for yourself, check out the link in the description. Let's go ahead and start with a earrings mold. And before you start, make sure to wear a pair of gloves, use a respirator, or be in a well-ventilated room. I'm going to fill some of these cavities up with some clear resin. I'm going to add the little flowers and then top it off with more resin. And the nice thing about working with UV resin is that the resin will not cure until you put a UV light over it. So that means you can take your time to make your design. For these, we're going to use some confetti. I think these two primary colors go really well together. When we're done, we're going to fill it up with more resin. Let's do one more with the monstera leaves. Here, we're going to put the resin into the cup. Then I'm gonna add glitter. Oh, this is super glittery. Look how pretty it is. Then we're gonna carefully pour it into the mold. And once we're happy with the design of the pieces, we're now ready to cure. So we're gonna put it under the UV lamp for three to five minutes. And what I like to do is also cure the resin, the leftover resin, on my tools. This way it makes it really easy to clean up because you can just peel it off. And make sure to move it over to this other side too. So as you can see here, you can just peel off the resin here. And the same for this cup here. You just pop it out. What I also like to do is flip it over and do the back. All right, everyone, now the best part, time to demold. So let's take out these ovals. Here's the back side. Here's the front. Here's the matching pair. Here are the sides. And as you can see, it is super clear and not sticky at all. There are some resins that I've gotten before that can be a little bit sticky after curing. But these are actually very smooth and very, very shiny. 
O-shaped ones. Oh, these are so, so pretty. Look at this. It's so shiny. And so what we can do with these is um, we can actually dome them if we want. So as you can see right now, they're kind of flat. And so we can dome either one side or both sides to give it that little rounded shape. But overall, it looks really, really pretty. So these either can be little pendants or they can be little earrings. They'll be matching earrings. And here's the leaf. Oh wow, this is so, so glittery. Super nice. So the little earrings do come with jump rings. So here are the jump rings and then we also have the earring hooks. All right, so here is our first pair of earrings. Just take a look at this. This is so, so pretty. And it was so easy to make too. Here is the other large pair. I really love this one. And we also have a pair of the smaller ones, the little flowers. Next, let's go ahead and fill in this frame. So this is an empty frame. So we're going to need this roll of tape. We're going to cut the tape so that it's bigger than the frame. And then we're going to put the frame down on it. And press it down to make sure all the edges are covered. This will prevent the resin from leaking. Next, we're going to pour a small amount of resin into the frame. Next, I'm going to add some alcohol ink. So I'm going to be using Let's Resin Alcohol Ink in purple, sapphire blue, and hot pink. A little goes a long way, so we're going to keep the drops small. I'm going to mix it up a little bit and then cure it. Next, we're going to add one of these planets. So I trimmed a little bit of it off and we're going to put it in a corner here. Then we're going to add more resin on top. This layer is going to be very thin. And then we're going to cure it. And then finally on top, we're going to add an astronaut. Here's the astronaut. We're going to put in. And now the final layer of resin. We want to make sure it goes all the way to the edges and there are no gaps. Okay, and then our last cure. There it is. And just to be sure the back side is also cured, we're going to flip it over and cure the back side. All right, and we're done. So now that we're done, we can peel off the tape. And here is our pendant from the back and from the front. And so we can make this into a necklace or we can make it into a keychain. It's really up to you. All right, everyone. So here's everything that we made today. And this was really easy to make too. And what I love about UV resin is that you don't have to wait a day for it to cure. You just have to put it under the UV lamp for a few minutes. And I really like the resin because it is not sticky at all. See how smooth this is. All right, everyone. So if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you have other projects that you want to see me do, let me know down below in the comment section.